I'm PJ Brownlee, curator at the Terra Foundation for American Art. I'm here today to talk about a recent acquisition, Yasuo Kuniyoshi's Boy with Cow. Painted in 1921, it marks the high point for Kuniyoshi's first major period. Kuniyoshi was a Japanese-American immigrant. He moved to the west coast of the United States as a child and then made his way across the country to New York uh, to train as an artist. He studied with Kenneth Hayes Miller and Robert Henry at the Art Students League in New York, and soon after became part of a circle of artists that included George Bellows, John Sloan, uh, Walt Kuhn, and others uh, with whom he worked uh, at the Art Students League. Kuniyoshi was quite popular during his lifetime and had a pretty successful career as an artist. Boy with Cow was included in the 1948 Whitney retrospective, the first retrospective given to a living artist. Exemplary of Kuniyoshi's style of this period, Boy with Cow combines uh, three distinct aesthetics that really mark Kuniyoshi's work of this decade. The first is a sense of Japanese composition in which the figures are uh, relate to one another a little differently than they do in the Western tradition. The second is European modernism and the tendency toward abstraction on one hand, uh, toward cubism on another. We can see that uh, the treatment of forms here takes on a sort of a modernist bent. And third is Kuniyoshi's reliance on folk art traditions. And so all three of these streams come together in this first period of Kuniyoshi's artistic maturity. Uh, the picture tells a story. Uh, it appears that with the impending storm on the horizon seen in the dark clouds above, uh, the boy has come outside or has been sent outside to fetch the cow and bring her back to the barn, uh, which we see in the distance. The barns themselves, again, are a stylized treatment of vernacular forms of architecture in uh, the main countryside. The range of Kuniyoshi's palette in this painting is quite limited. Uh, there are just a few colors that he's using. Uh, interestingly, in the sky above, there are uh, swirling black clouds, but there are some patches painted in white uh, that may be or may refer to birds flying through the dark clouds. Certainly, these marks and others throughout the composition uh, create some sense of movement uh, within this static image uh, and keep our eyes moving over the surface of the painting, uh, moving from the cow up the road, the figure of the boy, toward the barn. This is one of several paintings that Kuniyoshi made of cows. Uh, he was uh, particularly drawn to cows. He felt a certain affinity to them, even though they weren't native to Japan. In a memoir that he wrote in the 1940s, he suggested that he had an innate closeness to the cow, quote, you see, I was born, judging by the Japanese calendar, in a cow year. According to legend, I believed my fate to be guided more or less by the bovine kingdom. The delineation of the boy is quite interesting as well. I mean, it's certainly not naturalistic. It's not um, a, a naturalistic treatment of a human figure. Rather, Kuniyoshi depicts this figure in the style of American folk art imagery. The boy stands with his foot propped on a rock uh, with arms akimbo, and his forearms are bulging, uh, perhaps to suggest his strength and his uh, fortitude as a farmer. Uh, this is a period in the 1920s and 30s in which farm labor, agricultural work, was being transformed by mechanization. The, the handwork of farming uh, was giving way to technological approaches. Boy with Cow is a wonderful addition to the Terrace collection for numerous reasons. It adds a work by a Japanese-American artist. It adds another work of early American modernism. Uh, it joins works by artists with whom Kuniyoshi worked, such as George Bellows or Walt Kuhn. And it adds another example of a work uh, made uh, with an eye to Japanese aesthetics. <laughs>